welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to our telecast today as we review and reflect from the book, the daily devotional written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The topic we are looking at today is season of laughter. Season of laughter. And I welcome you listener, viewers, to your season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Our Bible passage is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verses 1 to 4. Sing, O barren, you who have not born, break forth into singing, and cry aloud, you have not labored with child. For more are the children of desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare, lengthen your courts and strengthen your stakes. For you shall expand to the right and to the left. And your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Amen. A memory verse, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 4. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Amen. Mountain experiences are often not very pleasant. It takes more effort to climb a mountain than you would need to climb a hill. However, when we are climbing the mountain, it will seem that we are confronted with impossibilities. Things that are higher than us, when we look at it closely, God has a way of promoting his people. When God wants to promote you, he takes you through a mountain experience. Jesus faced the mountain experience often. Elijah had his test on Mount Camel. When you are called upon to climb a mountain, it is because in the end, God is setting you up for higher glory. He wants to make you a spectacle for others to see. Often, when we pass through such experiences, we cry and grumble and ask, Why me? It was meant to be you because it is your destiny. That's the truth. God is preparing you for something great. Key into it and stop the complaining. You have to start rejoicing in the Lord and stay focused on the Lord. Your time of testimony is surely coming. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The glory of the Lord will arise upon you, so don't give up. When the battle against you appears fierce, it means that the victory will also be resounding. Check all the men and women of God, men and women of faith in the Bible. None of them had it easy. But they prevailed because they were focused on the glory to be won in the Lord. Do not give up. The Lord will strengthen you and grant you the grace to get to your desired destination in the name of Jesus. Don't rely on your own power. Depend on the grace that the Lord can supply for the journey. And you will laugh last in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that the Lord has deposited great things in you. And once you allow them to be nurtured and blossom. They will bring forth fruit that will usher in the celebration that you will need in the name of the Lord at the right time and in due season. I speak unto you that your season of laughter has come in the name of Jesus. Prayer point, Father, thank you for my season of laughter. Let my voice of rejoicing never cease in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a glorious day. Start the laughter now. Believe in the Lord. Believe in his prophet. 
you will be established and you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Have a wonderful day and bye for now.